So they have foam holding up the metal parts. All right, data hoarders. Here's my latest travesty. I took four drives out of here for eight terabytes. This was my main storage server. Where do you think I was storing all of this terrible 4K video? So, A8-9600 with 16 gigs of RAM, a $20 or less 10 gigabit Ethernet card, SFP+, Plus, and there's also an Intel card because, you know, they do actually put out a little better. And over here, I combined it, the drives, with an existing server, older server, what I replaced with that one. These are six Toshiba 7200 RPM 3 terabyte drives. I have added four Western Digital 8 terabyte shucks from Easy Stores. And even though this motherboard comes with eight SATA ports built in, it's an A8 7600. Uh, who makes this board again? Gigabyte. Uh, yeah, it's Gigabyte. Um, as you can see, I have the Intel and the SFP Plus, the, the 10 gigabit. I have those in here too. But here is a God knows what manufacturer, PCI Express 4 port SATA controller to run those four extra drives. I decided to leave, wherever it is, the uh, extra two ports on the motherboard hanging so I could route those four through a separate controller so that they would interfere minimally with the existing six here. Um, as you can see, I have a 500 watt power supply, which normally scares people, and it should, but uh, we're gonna see if that's gonna be a problem. Oh, and, and you know, you just know that all these little numbers matter um, in some way. 500 watts, what a joke. So we can see the truth is closer to 400. Um, and I have, <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm almost ashamed, like I'm not even joking here. I'm almost ashamed to show you this. Um, I'm probably gonna get some flack, let's just be honest. Um, but here I'm taking the face off and uh, yeah, oh. High quality stuff. Two fans held in with screws. And then one fan held in with extremely high end crappy invisible tape. And the drives, yes, are screwed into 5.25 bays and I haven't spent $110 on a four drive tray rack thing. So they have foam holding up the metal parts to keep them nicely spaced and cushioned on the other side. And one whole screw. Now the foam, as you can probably see if I zoom in a bit, doesn't go all the way to the circuit board. I thought about that. Don't want the uh, static on the circuit boards. And this thing, oh look, that probably scrapes on the foam. I didn't think of that. Um, so yeah, clearly this is a well thought out um, very sophisticated piece of engineering here. But, does it work? Well, yes. Yes, it does work. Um, and in fact, let's go around here to the back. Ignore that drive tray, by the way. It's just there in case I need to hook things up. Let's go to the back. Uh, not much to report back here. But what we do have that is going to be fun is a kilowatt. You can see that number, right? So for posterior, I mean posterity, let me somehow give this computer a reach around and turn it on. Oh my God, why is this so hard? Uh, I think that was the reset button. I'm really curious. I have not seen this number yet either. So we're about to find out together. 
It's a lot of watts. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. So we never hit 400. And we kind of settled at 180 something. Oh, oh, look at that. It's my horrific custom Linux distribution uh, built from scratch using a touch of hate and self-loathing. But yeah, all of these are spun up. They didn't have a hiccup. You didn't hear any funky clicking. And, oh look, you get to watch my stupid thing boot up. Uh, hurry up. Self-updating. Just scan this stupid thing. There we go. Yeah, it, uh, it has a couple hiccups here because things are still going on in the background. Uh, just, you're not going to see my root password. Of course, I'm also not going to type it correctly. Uh-huh. Please hold while we type the root password. All right, so here's what we're going to do. MDM, just to show you what I've got going on here. Come on. Learn to, learn to hold the camera, pal. Learn to hold the camera. There we go. So all kinds of weird stuff's going to show up because one of these arrays was booted from, but not the other. I actually don't remember which one was booted from. And now here's where it gets fun. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Maybe I can show this to you without showing my serial numbers. I'm not sure. Eh, well, you're going to get the serial numbers anyway. Whatever. I don't give a crap. It's not like you can do anything with them. So there you go. Um, Raid Shadow Legends. Nope, not sponsored by them. I just thought it'd be funny to say that. So there you go. Six, three terabytes, four, eight terabytes. And TT underscore parallel diagnostics. This is where it gets fun because this is a tool I wrote that does a burn in on the processor at the same time as reading every hard drive beginning to end sequentially. This is where things will become fun. Also, I may find some bugs in my tools. Um, I may find several bugs in my tools actually. It's interesting that it didn't go past SDF. I wonder why. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to find out. Actually, no, I'm not. Um, yeah, just don't bother. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. Rather than what I was thinking, let's just manually do the same thing. I'm going to use PV. Dev MD what? MD what? One, two, seven. To dev null. This will give you an idea of the raw streaming speed. Sorry, I'm kind of holding this. So MD127 is clearly the large one. And you see that the streaming speed is not the greatest. Um, and hang on. I gotta pull up another console. Uh, nope, not that way I don't. Alright, we're going to do the same thing for dev, I bet MD126. Da, 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 da. Is that also? Yeah, that's definitely the 3 terabyte array. Definitely the 3 terabyte. Look at that freaking sequential read speed at the beginning of the array. 67200 RPM, 3 terabyte desktop drives that are a few years old at this point. Look at that. Tell me that is not just the hottest stuff right there. Almost a gigabyte a second. Now, one more login. You're going to have to uh, pull on, you know, just wait a second. And, da -da -da, and I'll run my burn in tool. Boom. Burn in. And streaming a gig a second almost from there. And. 300 something, well, 300 roughly from there. Um, they do slow down a little bit, but 
what are we doing? So this thing's running basically full bore. CPU's burning in. The drives are spun up, but they're all reading sequentially. I don't have them scattering, but yeah, so we're probably looking at maxing out at 200 watts. Oh, look, the fan works. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Um, also, look at all the molded SATA connectors. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's gonna catch on fire, dude. It's gonna be awesome. You know what? Most of them don't fail, so don't give me any crap. All right, well, um, yeah, clearly, if you saw my nasty server video, you know about my extensive cable management skills. And, uh, I mean, that's basically it. Um, there you go. I put two servers together into one big server and shoehorned yeah I can't wait for all the negative comments and people are gonna report me again on reddit I bet but I guess I'll, I'll survive now I have to configure it all oh my god <sighs> yeah yeah okay.